Hey everyone, it is the beginning of February, which I just, I, uh, what? What? I don't understand where January went. This year is already going by so fast. I'm not okay with this. Anyway, it's, I guess, February. I think someone's lying. I think they changed the calendars. But anyway, we'll just pretend. So I am here to do my January favorites, and I actually wanted to film this video like a week ago so I could upload it on um, the 31st, which was yesterday. And I like sat down and was like, okay, what are your favorites for January? And I like took out my pen and paper and then I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, well, this month went by so fast. I don't even know what I did this month. I didn't really buy anything new, so I don't have any like new products. Um, I have some things that I got for Christmas and a couple random things. Like I have no favorites this month because January went by so fast. I, I don't even know. So I have a couple things, but it's just the month went by too fast, so I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I have two lip products and both of these were things I got over Christmas. The first one is my Maybelline Baby Lips in Pink Punch and I'm wearing it right now. And it's nice because it's like moisturizing, um, but it's got a little bit of color, so it's like a lip balm, but a lip gloss at the same time and it's just, in one and it's easy and I like it and it smells good and it looks good and I really like it yay and the other one I have is my Burt's Bees um, nourishing lip balm with mango butter and I got this I got a couple Burt's Bees for Christmas this is the only one I really used um, so far and I really like Burt's Bees it's good um, in the winter my lips are super dry like always um, so this is really good to keep them from being even more dry than they need. The next thing I have is a nail polish and this is Deborah Lippman. It's Let's Go Crazy and I got this um, over Christmas from my aunt and uncle and I'm not sure if it was a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. Either way, um, it was a gift. Doesn't matter. And um, it's really pretty. It's like purple with sparkles in it and I'm not wearing it right now because I'm not wearing anything on my nails right now. But I was wearing it um, earlier in the month around my birthday and I really, really like it. I've never owned a Deborah Lippman nail polish before. This is the only one. I don't even know where you buy them. Um, but I've heard a lot of really good things about them just from other people in the past. So I was really excited that, um, that that's the one that I got and I really like it. It's a really good nail polish and I have no complaints about it other than that it's really hard to get off your nails because of the sparkles. Like you use nail polish remover and the purple comes off okay and then you've just got like sparkles all over your nails. <laughs> it's just it takes it's a lot of work to get the sparkles off but that's sparkly nail polish in general but I really really like this one the last makeup thing that I have is a couple eyeshadows and they're both Mary Kay this one is peaches and cream and it's like a two colors in one and then this one is vintage gold and I got these I think I've mentioned before that my mom sells Mary Kay stuff um, and she had a bunch of stuff when I was home over Christmas and she was like there's a bunch of eyeshadows and stuff and she was like I'm not gonna sell these take what you want um, so both of these were ones that I got from her over Christmas and I really like um, like mixing the peaches and cream mixing both colors together sweeping it all over my eyelid and then using the vintage gold like in my crease um, it's kind of what I've been doing this month I feel like I haven't been wearing that much makeup this month because I kind of I used to be all like school makeup and I'm just like I don't really care what I look like at school and when I work at the pool like I don't wear makeup obviously in the pool unless I want to look like a panda raccoon koala bear hot mess um, <laughs> So, and I work four days a week, and then I'm at school five days a week, and I just don't really wear makeup anymore. Like, other than just, like, mascara. Like, mascara and lip gloss. That's all I'm wearing today. Like, I'm not even, I don't even wear foundation anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I really like both of these, and on the days that I've worn eyeshadow, these two colors have been my go-to. The next thing I have for my January favorites is a book. It is The Death Cure by James Dashner. Um, I mentioned this book in my books video that I posted a few days ago. Um, this is the third book in the Maze Runner trilogy and I'm about, I'd say I'm about halfway. Uh, yeah, I'm about halfway. Um, it is so good. I mentioned that like the Maze Runner was amazing, the first book, and it's it really is. Um, and the end is a huge cliffhanger. The second book, The Scorch Trials, is good. It's a good book, but it's nothing really like it's a little bit predictable because you kind of, the way Maze Runner ends, I kind of expected Scorch Trials to end the same way, which it did. Not the same way, but like, just like the cliffhanger, same kind of ending. And then once you read the description, you're kind of like, oh, okay, so they're going to do this. And then that's what happens throughout the book. And there's a couple little like, oh, 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 moments, but it's nothing, 
It was a good book, but it wasn't as good as Maze Runner. Um, but then this one, so far, is really, really good. And like, I honestly, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Like, I'm halfway through, and I'm, I don't even have a clue how it's gonna end. Like, there's so many different ways it could go. Um, so I'm really excited to finish this book, probably in the next couple days, probably over the weekend I'll finish this. Um, I should study, but let's be honest here, people. Probably gonna read this. So I highly re recommend, it's a young adult dystopian. Um, if you're into those kind of books, I highly, highly recommend the Maze Runner series. Especially Death Cure, because it's really good. The next favorite that I have is this little baby. Let's see, look at the camera. Look at the camera. This is Lucy. Um, we are, my roommate is actually, it's her boss's, my roommate's boss's dog. And we've been dog sitting her now for almost two weeks. And she's leaving this weekend, and I'm really sad. Um, it's been nice to have something that is alive around the house that we can nurture. Um, January was a really hard month for me, and it's just been nice to have her around these last couple weeks. Just to be my little wow. snuggle buddy. We snuggle on my bed a lot, and it's really precious. She doesn't sleep in my bed because I roll around a lot, and I am genuinely scared I would kick her in my sleep. Um, and she has like a little crate. Hi! She has a crate um, that her owners left with us that she sleeps in at night. But during the day and stuff, she pretty much follows me around everywhere. Under my desk. In my room. On my bed. On my lap. Hi, baby. So she is definitely a January favorite. And I'm gonna miss her a lot when she leaves this weekend, right, baby? Oh, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. The next thing I have for my January favorites is this, which you guys can't see, um, I got a new tripod, I got it um, just after Christmas in like Boxing Day sales, but it was like my birthday present to myself, and I finally have a tripod, and now I'm not like, it's just so much better to have a tripod, and then I mentioned that I got this new camera, um, and both of them together, I'm just really, really happy with them, and it's worked out really well, so they are definitely wow. high up on the list of January favorites. So this has been my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments um, some of your favorites from the past month, or if you want to film them and leave it as a video response, I would really, really enjoy that. And as always, if you have any recommendations for things I should try, um, if you have any opinions about the things that I mentioned in this video, or if you have any video requests, you can leave those down in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.